The Supreme Court has refused an application seeking to halt ongoing construction works on the National Cathedral. In a unanimous decision, a seven-member panel ruled that there are remedies the court can employ for compensations to be paid if it rules against the state in the substantive matter, urging applicants to pursue the case. Here's a report by Godfrey Tanam. According to the businessman Jonathan Holm, government has bridged portions of the constitution for giving out state lands for the construction of the National Cathedral that does not serve the interests of the public. For that matter, he wants the APS call to declare the action of the state unconstitutional for the land to be returned to the original owners. The seven-member panel presided over by Chief Justice Justice Ninyabwa told the counsel for Jonathan Holm, since this is the second time it has refused an application they have filed, they should pursue the substantive matter. Government has already demolished some structures, including judges' accommodation, to pave way for the construction of the National Cathedral. The Finance Minister Ken Oforiata has already confirmed that the construction of the cathedral is estimated to cost over $100 million, adding government will commit between 10 to 20 million cities towards the project. The design of the cathedral will contain a number of chapels, a baptistry and a music school, a grand central hall and auditorium with 5,000 seats. There will also be an art gallery and Africa's Bible Museum. Construction is expected to begin in March this year.